Okay, hello YouTube, this is Mr. Apple Touch 101 here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak a 3.0 official firmware iPod Touch 1G or 2G or iPhone 1G or 3G. This does not work for the iPhone 3GS. Okay, so make sure that you have uh, 3.0 firmware. If you're an iPod Touch user and you want to know how to get it for free, like I did right here, go on the link in the right. Okay, so you need to think you have four requirements here. One, 3.0 firmware. Two, uh, make sure your iPod has been restored, so there's no music or anything. Three, you need to download Red Snow for the jailbreaking. And then four, you must be on iTunes 8.2. So if you're not on the latest iTunes version, which is 8.2, get on it now. Um, so, yeah, make sure all those things are up and ready. So, um, and you obviously need a computer for this, so, or a Mac or PC. So, let's get started. I think I just named all the requirements. And you need to know how to go into DFE mode. So, okay. First of all, I need to have Red Snow downloaded, which will be in the link in the description to the right for both Windows and Mac. And you need to have 3.0 installed. There will be a there will be a link for iPhone 3G and 1G and uh, iPod Touch 1G, and then there'll be another link for iPod Touch 2G. So yeah, open up Red Snow. <coughs> okay, and then this will come up. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, click on that. I'll extract all the files. And I'll come to this. Okay, on um, that's Mac. OS X and this is Windows Red Snow and make sure you have the right one downloaded 0.7.1 if you don't use the link in my description and then you'll see Red Snow EXE click on it okay so this will come up and make and so you're gonna hit the browse button and click on your firmware that you just installed and we'll press open and then this will come up and you'll press next and it'll say IPSU successfully Identified. Next. Please select which options you would like to have and make sure that is the only thing. It says install Cydia. If that is not checked, like it already has given you, then mm, there's no point in jailbreaking it. You won't have anything different. Next. Okay. Make sure your iPod is off. Okay. So make sure it's connected. And it says f first, um, if it's not off, plug it in into your computer like I already have, and then and then turn it off. So I'm gonna turn it off. And I'll hold down my power button. And if you don't know where the power button is, it's up here. If you just happen to run across my video first and you just got a new iPod Touch or whatever. Okay. So the next part, I'm going to need to put my camera down because you'll need it go into DFU mode. So, first of all, you want to make sure that you're about to hold the power button, okay, and the follow instructions that Red Snow will give you. I'm not going to say it. Oh, I guess I'll, I guess I can say it. Okay, so next, hold the power button in the corner for three seconds. Then without releasing the power button, also hold down the home button and I'll give a countdown. That'll be for ten seconds. Without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for, you know, for like 30 seconds, so. Here's what they look like. Okay, so I didn't really have to hold it that long. It said, updating for stage. So, didn't really have to hold it for, you know, I'll keep on holding it though. For like 10 seconds, whatever. And I'll go through the process as it would for QuickBone 2.2.1. So, okay. Okay. And then I'll start uploading the second stage. Waiting for reboot. It will reboot and I'll have a whole bunch of doo 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 doo. And then this will come up finally. Downloading jailbreak data. I'll say uploading RAM disk. I'll try to get this all uploaded tonight. I don't know if I can.
and then uploading them to still. So it'll say, start saying uploading first stage, and I'll go to, okay, there's an excellent upload kernel. And we'll start rebooting, and we'll start saying done. Awful quick, awful quick. Easiest way to probably jailbreak your iPod, touch 2G or 3G, I mean 2G or 1G. And if you just bought an iPhone S, I mean iPhone 3GS, and you're like, yes, I can't wait to jailbreak it. Um, you're going to have to wait for about, um, I can't remember how long. Uh, well, they say it's coming out soon. It's called like Ultra Snow or something, I don't know. It's supposed to be for iPhone 3GS. And if you are looking to purchasing to the iPhone 3GS, um, just remember, it is only $99, and there's the, uh, jailbreaking process, seeing as it's going on. Um, if you are looking for the I find the iPhone 3GS, yes, it does have a video recorder now. Um, it's got two other things that are different now. Um, you know, you only have to pay $99, but remember, you also got to pay for the it's been $99 for the phone, plus the contract, and what people haven't really, well, I, Apple or AT&T hasn't really been telling, is that you have to pay a $30 monthly fee. So if you're, you know, one of those people who don't have the kind of money to uh, pay $99 for the phone, contract, you know, whatever contract you build up and you cost, let's say, you know, I don't know, let's just say, like, Two hundred dollars or something. I don't know. It's two ninety nine. You forgot the plus tax on that, and you got the thirty dollar monthly fee. So it's three twenty plus tax every month. Just use the phone. So if you really want the iPhone three GS, go ahead. But um, first of all, you can jailbreak it, and second of all, you have the monthly fee and everything. Okay, so this comes up. <coughs> So I would just recommend, you know, going with the regular 3G if they still have it. 3G is, you know, it's, it's uh, $100 more, but I think you'll be satisfied. You can jailbreak it, you know. Then your computer will work, you know, stop typing it. And then we're done. So. Ta-da. And it will appear on your second page if you don't have any apps or anything. It will appear on your second page. So, yeah, I don't know why I just did that. I already had 2.2.1 jailbroken. But anyway, that's how you jailbreak a 3.0 official. It's the official 3.0 firmware. At least from Apple. iPod Touch. Uh, or iPhone. 2G, 3G, and 1G. So. Basically, it. Um, this is Mr. iPod Touch 101 here. Hope you guys liked the video. Yeah, please give a good rating. I don't care if you leave comments. Uh, and please subscribe.